Danieli alikuwa anamfata Yesu mgongoni mwa mtu anaitwa William Marion Brania alikuwa mtu mmoja mzuri sana Danieli wa kiroho awaliaumba katika sura ya Mungu hayuko hapa akaingiza watu saba kwa Kristo because our brother died in Christ kwa sababu Danieli akija ofisini kwanza ataanza kutubia masuala ya Mungu Baba ticha naye anafariki saa tisa usiku ananiuliza mtoto wangu mimi akulala Hakuwa yule Mkristo wa kubagua dini, hakuwa yule Mkristo mwenye makeke sijui waislamu nini na wale msiojua. Danieli alimfuata mtu wa saba baada ya kutoka Paulo. Mtakatifu Daniel Mgaya alikumbwa na tukio la ajali mbaya lililotokea siku ya Jumane tarehe mbili Januari 2024 mida ya saa 4 usiku maeneo ya Gongora Mboto mwisho wa Rami. Kwamba yule mtoto mdogo mdogo yule ambaye anasoma duse yule naye tutahakikisha kanisa litamsomesha hata hata mpaka PhD kama ni lazima Bariki. I think that we are here for one purpose. Nafikiri kwamba mko hapa kwa kusudi moja. But I think that is a good day today. Lakini mimi naona kwamba ni siku njema leo. The double the devil just try every time to show us that is a bad day. Ibilisi kila mara utuonyesha kwamba ni siku mbaya kama hii and he push the people in the sorrow na kusukumiza watu katika simanzi in the pain na katika uchungu but the time jesus came lakini wakati yesu alipokuja he show us that is a grace day ametuonyesha kwamba siku kama hii ni siku ya neema is a good day ni siku nzuri is why i would try to explain it ndo maana nitajaribu kuielezea for us christian ili sisi wa kristo there are not a good day like today kwa hakuna siku nzuri kama hii because we know where we are coming from kwa sababu tunajua tulikotoka and where we are going na kule tuliko tunako kwenda we are very happy tunafuraha kweli because our brother kwa sababu ndugu yetu died in christ amefia katika kristo that is the greatest each on your kid i can preach with freely I can preach freely. Naweza nikalisikia hilo. Because I know. Kwa sababu najua my brother ndugu yangu is a marvelous place. Ni yuko katika sehemu nzuri. Amen. Amen. We can take the Bible because Biblia zetu. Kwa sababu kila kitu kiko kwenye Biblia. We take one Corinthians Tusome kutoka kitabu cha Wakorinto wa kwanza. I think someone can read it in in Swahili can be better. Tusome kwa Kiswahili. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya 15 and we start by 50. Tutaanza kusoma mstari wa 50. up to 55 paka 55 ya yeah, read in swahili eh eh mtasoma kwa jina la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ndugu zangu nisemayo ni haya ya kuwa nyama na damu haziwezi ku, uh, kurithi ufalme wa Mungu wala uharibifu kurithi kutokuharibika angalieni nawaambia ninyi siri hatutalala sote lakini sote tutabadilika. Kwa dakika moja 
kufumba na kufumbua wakati wa parapanda ya mwisho maana parapanda italia na wafu watafufuliwa wasiwe na uharibifu nasi tutabadilika maana sharit eh, maana sharit huu uharibifu uvae kutoku uharibika na huu wakufa uvae kutokufa basi huu uharibikao utakapovaa kutoku uharibika na huu wakufa utakapovaa kutokufa hapo ndipo litakapokuwa lile neno eh, lililoandikwa mauti imemezwa kwa kushinda ku uh, ku wapi ewe mauti kushinda kwako u wapi ewe mauti uchungu wako even father we thank you for this time we know that it is a great time because we have a promise that you shall come and take all of us Amen. we shall be in your presence Amen. we believe with all our heart that one day i will meet my brother Amen. god that is the great things i have in my heart Amen. is a promise from you you never lie god Amen. i believe in you and receive it Amen. god i want today to convince every people Amen. everyone here Amen. in sorrow Amen. that this day is a great day Amen. oh lord take our heart and console us Amen. you are the consolator god Amen. you are the comforter Amen. come again jesus to comfort your people Amen. comfort as a pastor Amen. the church Amen. and everyone here the relative to know that god you are a conqueror amen. oh jesus i thank you in jesus name i pray amen, amen. hallelujah amen. if you are happy say amen i want to say amen say again amen we are not in sorrow we are joys sisi tunafurahia because today is a day my brother is in happiness ni siku ambayo ndugu yetu yuko katika furaha and i believe na naamini is not longer sio muda mrefu we shall see him tutamuona amen we believe tunaamini that one day kama siku moja no longer sio si muda mrefu we shall see tutamuona And I'm telling you for this moment wakatu, is around here yuko hapa hapa but in the good body kwa katika mwili usioharibika oh that body i love it jamani ule mwili na upenda you can't have it utaupenda if you are not christian uwezo ka upenda kama usio mkristo if you want to have that body ukitaka kuwa na mwili huo you must believe in jesus name unapaswa kumwamini katika is the one can come with that body yeye ndiye anayeweza kushuka na huo mwili i want someone to say amen mtaka mmoja aseme amina I want someone to say hallelujah. Kaka mmoja aseme hallelujah. Is it our time to say amen? Ni wakati wetu wa kusema amina. Is it our time to say God thank you? Ni wakati wetu wa kusema asante Mungu. Because this man Kwa sababu huyu mtu he was not a sinner. Hakuwa mdhambi. He was a believer. Yaani alikuwa muaminio. Like he was a believer. Na alikuwa ni muaminio. He is a champion. Ndio oh, yeye ni mshindi. I think today. Yeye na sio. The time he was crossing. Oh, wakati alikuwa anavuka. He met the angels. Alikutana na malaika. He met Jesus Christ. Alikutana na Yesu Kristo. He said oh thank you man. Asema asante. You are the winner. Wewe ni mshindi. You have overcome. Umeshinda. Welcome to our country. Karibu kwa Oh, we are going there. Tunaenda pale. When there we shall be there. Siku moja atakuwa pale. It's our time, brother. wetu ndugu. Oh, someone can say amen again. Mtu mmoja anaweza kusema amina tena. You know in John chapter 15. Yoa katika Yohana sura ya 15 verse 1. I want that to read it. Yeah. Some hapo Jesus promised us something. Yesu alituahidi kitu kimoja hapo. Before to go. E kabla tujaondoka. I love that man. Nampenda sana. Do you love Jesus? Nampenda huyo mtu. He don't leave us like a a, a orphan. Aweza hajatuacha kama yatima. He let us the promises. Alituachilia ahadi. And he said. Na alisema You can read it. 15 verse 1 yeah Mimi ndimi mzabibu wa kweli na baba yangu ndiye mkulima yeah. e, kila tawi ndani yangu lisilozaa 14 not 15 14 
14. That's so. Don't worry in your heart. Oh, someone can believe that wait. I want you today the sorrow to go out. Nataka, If you believe that word, come on, amen. Remove it in your heart now. On do as simanzi moyo ni moako. This is Jesus promised to us. Kama Yesu aliahidi kwetu. Don't worry. Bwana msifadhai kama ni moyo. Don't worry. Mimi sifadhai ki. Why? Kwa nini? Continue, continue. Kwa sababu zifuatazo mnamwamini Mungu niaminini na mimi. Ah. Continue. Okay. Nyumbani mwa baba, baba yangu mna makao mengi. Kama sivyo ningaliwaambia. Maana naenda kuandalia mahali. Basi mimi nikienda ah. na kwa Continue. Eh, na kuandalia uh, mahali nitakuja tena niwakaribishe kwangu. Ile nilipo mimi nanyi muwepo. Hallelujah. 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 Yes brother. Ndio ndugu. You know. Najua if you are a good parent. Kama wewe ni mzazi mzuri and you know that your wife is pregnant. Na unajua kwamba mkeo yuko a newborn. Ana mimba na mnatarajia mtoto. You must prepare the place. Unapaswa kuandaa mazingira. You must just buy the place. Una andaa unanunua sehemu kwa sababu najua kwamba siku nzuri au njema inakuja mtoto anakuja lakini mtoto ye hana fura ili ye alie ye ya siku kwamba hana fura anapo zali watu siku analia kwa sababu siku kwamba hana fura The baby think that he was in the good place. Kwa sababu ile mtoto anaweza kwamba yeye kula liko kuwa tumboni ni mahali pazuri. He think that this is a great place. Anaweza kwamba hii ni sehemu nzuri kweli kweli. I can't move from here. Siwezi nikatoka hapa tena. Ignorance. <laughs> Kutoa jua. Is a baby. Ni yeye ni mtoto. Is why he cry. Ndio maana analia. By the time he reaches the age. Lakini wakati anafika umri wa ukubwa kidogo. Tell him, tell her that baby. Muulize huyo mtoto. I want to bring you back in the. Nataka nikurudishe tumboni kule ulikokuwa. Is a battle. Oh, ni vita. I remember one day I was a small one. Nakumbuka siku moja nilikuwa mjana mdogo. Six or five years. Nilikuwa umri wa kama miaka mitano au sita hivi. My mom called me. Eh mama yangu aliniita. He take the breast. Afa kachukua titi. Nasema, "Hebu nyonya, nyonya." Nikasema, "Hey, ntaki." Why? Kwa nini? I'm matured. Ni, sasa nimekuwa, nilikuwa nimekuwa. I recognize my position. Nikatambua nafasi yangu. I know that that is not my place. Nikajua kwamba hiyo sio nafasi yangu. My place is better than that. Sehemu yangu ni nzuri kuliko hiyo. Siwezi nikalia tena. I can't, can't go back in Siwezi the hood of my mother. Kwenye tumbo oh, la mama yangu. I want to say amen. Wewe unataka moja aseme amen. I want someone to say hallelujah. Moja aseme amen. I can't cry again. Siwezi nikalia tena. Go back in the hood of my mother. Sasa karudi kwa tumbo la a good place for me I'm a mature I want you to go to the mature place Oh today We are in this world But Jesus I've already prepared the place for you The good body Better than this body The glory body The good place One day We shall move from this world Utatoka katika mwili huu. Utatoka katika, katika mwili huu. Katika mwili wa mtukufu. Na watu tunaingia pale. Watu hawatalia, sasa niko check it right here. Hawatalia. Eh, hey, kule. <laughs> Amen. Baby. Watoto. You are crying because you are baby. Kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto. You don't know what is outside. You don't know what is that body. Hujui kilichoka kwa mwili. Oh, if you reach that place. Ukifika katika sehemu hii. Then if you reach that place. Ukifika katika sehemu hii. It's a glorious place. Ni sehemu ya utukufu. Ni sehemu ya utukufu. Ni sehemu ya utukufu.
Yeah, if you read it there, there is the angel, there is the pillar of fire, there is Jesus Christ, there is the blessing, no sorrow, no sorrow, no work, no work, no problem, no sickness, 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 Piggy piggy, I are not the whatever. It's a good place. You can move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I wanted that place. I love Jesus. He prepared me for a place. I wanted that place. If you wanted that place, believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Be baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I want someone to say amen. Oh, no, take a moment to say amen. I can't go to Zambia without a ticket. Two ways in Kaenda, Zambia, bill a ticket. I need a ticket to go there. Naitaji ticket to Kaenda Kule. That place need a ticket. Oh, he let's say we naitaji ticket. It's not everyone to go there. Eh, so kila moja Kaenda Kule. We need a ticket. Oh, oh, naitaji. What is the ticket? Ticket to get to Ghana. It's the Holy Spirit. It's Rome to get in for. Someone can say me. Oh, it's too much to say me. If you believe, come on, amen. You are baptized in the name of Jesus. No, you are baptized in the name of Jesus. You shall receive. Oh, tapo ke. The gift of the Holy Spirit. If you have that spirit, come on, I Rome to get in for. Then you have the guarantee. Oh, you are the wakika. Is a guarantee for you to reach that place. Oh, I want someone to say, Amen. Believe that you shall receive it. Believe that you shall receive it. If you receive, if you believe in Jesus' name, you shall receive it. Someone can say, Amen. Amen. I want to tell you, brother. The time God created a man. Wakati Mungu alipoumba mtu, he didn't have this body. Hakuwa na mwili huu unaoona hapa. You are crying whatever. Unalia na mambo yote hayo. The man created in the image of God. Yule mtu aliumba katika sura ya Mungu. Not this. Sio huyu. You are not this. Sio huu mwili. The created in the image of God is somewhere here. Upo mahali fulani hapa. Hallelujah. Upo mahali fulani hapa. Ndio. This one. Huu hapa. God have told to him. Mungu ameushuhudia. You are coming from ground. Unatokea kwenye ardhini. Na unarudi ardhini. But it's not him. Lakini sio yeye. That one is not coming from the ground. Uyo, usu, ambao yuko kwenye sura ya Mungu haujatokana na ardhi. He came from God. Ulitokea kwa Mungu. He was a spring of God. Ulitokea ni kwa chemchem ya Mungu. He was a part of God. Ulikuwa ni sehemu ya Mungu. He was in the image of God. Ulikuwa ni sura ya Mungu. The ground is not in the image of God. Ardhi haiko katika sura ya Mungu. What is in the image of God? Sura ya Mungu ni nini? Is ni Shadak spiritual. Eh, ni is Daniel spirit ni ni ni, ni sura ni roho ya Danieli is it Daniel in spirit ni 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 Daniel kiro the holy spirit eh rom takatifu can't stay here haweza kakaa humu if you receive the Holy Spirit, okay, pokea Rome taka tisu. It's not coming here. Ha, aji apa? It's coming in that one. Ha, na na kujia katika yule. In the image of God. Katika sura ya Mungu. Daniel. I Danieli. Spiritual. Wakiro. Now you are crying for what? Sasa unali yani unali yani ni sas. Because the one created in the image of God is not here. Kwa sababu yule aliye umbo. Oh my, Daniel, Daniel, you are a raw. How are you? Umbakat kasura ya mungu. How you go apa? How you po? How you po apa? But contrary, are you looking you me? This one, who you apa? Is his enemy. Ini ni adui wake. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Dio. Oh, you cry for the enemy. Una lilia adui. We are not for the enemy. Una you enemy. We are adui. Mduo di kule. Rudi arizini. Is the one prevent for him to pray? Amen. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I missed it. I missed it. 
is the one who was preventing Daniel to pray. Yani, huyu ndio alikuwa anamzuia Daniel asiombe. This one. Huyu. <laughs> Adui. Is your enemy. Ni adui wako mwili. Don't love it. Ho, oh, hiyo hivyo ni vitu vya kidini sana. Unafanya usimpende. <laughs> usimpende adui. Is it this one, brother? Ni huyu mwili huu. He was troubling. Alikuwa ulikuwa unasumbua. Alikuwa na unamsumbua kufu kutazama wanawake. Huyu mwili. Adui. This one. Huyu mwili. Adui. Don't love it. Unaweza kaupenda? Your first enemy. Wewe unaweza kampenda adui wako. Not your first enemy. Oh, adui wako wa kwanza. Is not your pastor. Sio mtugaji wako. Not your neighbor. Sio ajirani wako. Your first enemy. Adui wako wa kwanza. Is your body. Ni mwili wako. Mwenyewe. Oh, I want to say. Nataka Tell to your enemy. Mwambie adui wako. Don't stop me to be Christian. Usinizume kwa Mkristo. Start to today I know you now. Leo anza kumwambia nakujua kuanzia sasa. You are the one you are trouble me. Wewe ndio wanayenisumbua. Reach in the highest place. Kufikia kiwango changu cha juu. Start to today. Usanza leo. You shall be down. Wewe chini. And I'm telling you brother. Na nakwambia ndugu. The day you shall make this body. Sikutakayo weka huu mwili wako. In trouble. Katika shida is your victory. Ni ushindi kwako. Is it that day? Ni sikini katika siku hiyo. Kitakwambia kama unyache. It will tell you stop stop, stop me. The day siku is the victory ya ushindi because the body kwa sababu mwili he refuses the presence of the power in you ona unazuia nguvu iliyoko ndani yako the devil become strong unapaswa kuwa wa nguvu kiroho the body mwili he can't support it hawezo ukakiunga mkono hicho anakuacha oh and oh. if he leave you na aka akikuacha hivyo you can cry unaweza je unaweza kalia you can cry unaweza kalia is your victory wewe wewe ni ushindi sasa because that day Kukamu, you move from this earth umetoka katika dunia hii unaingia kwenye mbinguni amen the place jesus went to prepare for you ile sema ambayo yesu alienda kuandalia Today Siku ya leo. is just behind you. Leo iko tu nyuma yako hapo. He just tell you. Anakuambia? Leave this. Achana na hiki kimwili. Amen. <laughs> Leave this. Achana na huu mwili. I want you. Na kuhitaji wewe. Between the two. Eh, katika hayo mawili. Why do you choose? Ona chagua ipi? Mwili wa kimbingu ama ile ni mwili na kudonga na kidunia? The body. Something is wrong. Ukichagua okay, mwili huyu wa kuoza huu. Kuna kitu ambacho hakiko sawa kwako. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema this body. Huu mwili it can't inherit the kingdom of God. Au kauwezi ukaurithi ufalme wa mbinguni. Never. Kamwe. Kamwe. Hauwezi. That is the Bible. Ni hiyo ni Biblia. Now wow you you want the kingdom of God? Wewe unahitaji ufalme wa mbinguni. And we need this. Pamoja na unahitaji hiyo. Every day. Naomba kila siku. God. Mungu. Come to take us. Njoo utuchukue. I'm here for the rapture. Niko hapa kwa ajili ya unyakuo. I'm here for the rapture. Niko hapa kwa ajili ya unyakuo. I cry night and day. Nalia usiku na mchana. Jesus shall come. Na hadi yangu baba. Yesu atakuja. Shall change. Ana atakuja katika ule katika sauti parapanda atabadilishwa we shall change tutabadilishwa how is the change tutabadilishwaje to abandon this body ni kuachana na mwili huu to take a spiritual body kukua mwili wa kiroho ulio tukuka go to meet jesus na kwenda kukutana na yesu kristo yeye oh i want someone to say amen na hitaji mmoja aseme amina i want someone to say amen na hitaji mmoja aseme amina today leo we thank god tunamshukuru mungu because our brother is saved kwa sababu ndugu yetu ameokoka you shall say do sasa watoto What about children? You don't know that we are powerful. Wewe utakujua kwamba tuna nguvu? David said. Daudi alisema. I never. Sijawahi. Never. I was a child. Nilikuwa mtoto mdogo. I was a child. Nilikuwa mtoto mdogo. And I have. Na sasa ni kumtukuzia. Never. Sijawahi. See a righteous man. Kuona mtakatifu to be abandoned. Akiachwa. 
Never. If you are Christian, never you should be abandoned. He had. Comma. He had again. Even. Is descendants. Sorry. To beg. Kuomba. Mukate. Oh, I want someone to say amen. Hey, 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 I'm a sikiele. Oh, sikiele. I'm a sikiele. Nata mina kufa. Mutotuangu asita umbaka mukati. Even if I die, my child will not beg for bread. Awata kutani shaka mutotuangu barabarani. You will not find my child on the on the street. I'm a rich man. Me, me, me. If he was a rich man, that way. Lile neno. In the Bible. Lile neno katika Bible. Shall come down. Lile neno shuke. Na kutunza watoto wake. Oh, the man is a liar. Hallelujah. A man is a liar. Oh man is a liar. You are a liar. One is right. 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 is right. One 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 is Children of Brother Daniel, you never suffer. Awata ngai katena, awata tese katena hao. Amina. I want someone to say amen. Nataka mungu na sema amina. Support me in Jesus' name. Hey, katika jina so Christo. Support me in Jesus' name. Nitungi unge mukona katika Jesus' name. Amina. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. We call Jesus. Tuna mita Jesus Christo. We call the word. Tuna lita neno. Protect the two children. Ukashu, ukashu na watoto. Ni mungu. His mother na and the father. Mungu ni baba yao ni mama yao. Because his father. Kwa sababu, kwa sababu baba yao. And his mother. Mama yao, was a Christian. What when you were Christo? Was the right people. What when you were to what? They should what not beg the bread. What ought our pastor to come and cut it? Oh, I want someone to say amen. Oh, take a moja say mamina. I want someone to say amen. Take a moja say mamina. Is it not to you to protect them? Mungu kama mungu ata walinda. Is it not to you to protect them? Sio wewe kuwalinda. You shall fail. Uta shindwa. But God never fail. Ata shinda. God never fail. Ata shindwa. Never, never, never. Kamwe, kamwe, kamwe. Ata shindwa mungu. If you believe, say amen. Kuna muto na wazaka say mamina. If you believe, say hallelujah. Come on, amen. If you say amen, if you say amen, the brother is happy there. Oh, you do gonna fry ya. And the children they are blessed. Now what total na pata baraka? In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu. I bless. Na bariki. Oh family. Family and Zima. Because. Kwa sababu. It's the same yesterday. Kwa sababu yeye ni yule jana leo. Today. Na leo. And forever. Na hata minele. Brother, there are some things in the Bible. Ndugu, ndugu, kuna vitu huko kwenye Biblia. When did Solomon make a mistake? Skumoja Suleiman akakosea. He destroyed even the word of God. Ilikaribwa hata neno la Mungu. God came down. Mungu alishuka. He follow Solomon. Akamfuata Suleiman. He tell him. Akamwambia, you have a chance. Wewe una nafasi. Not for you. Sio kwa ajili yako. But I remember your father. Lakini nakumbuka baba yako. Haleluya. <laughs> Oh, the life of Brother Daniel. Eh, Everything about the Branham did for God. He can protect his children. Oh, brother. Even the your where you are. Hey, if you want to protect your children. Believe in Jesus. Be a right person. And your generation be blessed. Amen. 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 Utabarikiwa. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Utabarikiwa. Na leo. Na bariki watoto wewe. Oh God. Oh Mungu. Mungu is the Father. Oh Mungu. How he was a strong leader. Oh yeah, I had to call him in the shadow. Oh Bwana alikutumikia. 
that. Na kwa sababu ya hicho. Just for that. Na kwa sababu ya hicho. Protect the children. Walinda watoto wake. If you believe say amen. Kama amini tusema amina. Give me power. Give me power. And give me power. Give me power. Tusema amina. Say amen. amina. The way. Neno. Today. Leo. It shall feel food. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to put this body back. Dona enda kurudisha umwili. Arithini. Go back where you come from. Dirudi uliko toka. And leave my brother free. Na kumwacha ndugu yangu huru. Today. Leo. I'm happy. Niko na furaha. Because my brother is free. Kwa sababu ndugu yangu yuko huru. Oh, amen. amen. Amina. Say amen. Amen. If you say amen. Ukisema amina. That God is with you. Oh, ule mwili. <laughs> Sorry, with you. That God is with oh, you. Mungu yuko pamoja nawe. Amina. Amina. Now you know what happened now. The time Adam sinned. ambapo Adamu alipokosea katenda dhambi. God. Mungu. He could not sleep. Hakulala. The time the devil sinned. Wakati God don't care. Wakati bilisa akitenda dhambi, Mungu hajali. He never follow him. But the time Adam fell, God was upset. Mungu ali 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 vuruka alichanganyikiwa. God was not quiet. Hakutulia. God became upset. Akachanganyikiwa. Adam. Oh Adam. Mofi, Adam, my son. Umefanya nini mwanangu? Where are you? Uko wapi? Where are you? Uko wapi? Where are you? Uko wapi? Oh Amina. Oh, Amina. You are you are very important for God. Wewe ni mtu wa muhimu sana kwa Mungu. This man is very important for God. Huyu mtu ni wa muhimu sana kwa Mungu. Is why God decide. Ndio maana Mungu ayaamba. Don't leave you in the darkness. Sitakuacha katika gerezani. Katika mambo ya Tanzania. Makosa. Hapa Tanzania. I come to take. Naya kukuchukua mimi naja. You can't love Daniel more than God. Uwezo kumpenda wewe Daniel kuliko Mungu. Kiasa kukufanya ulie. Pastor you you can have love with Daniel please more than God. Mtungaji, unaweza kumpenda Daniel kuliko Mungu? No. Hapana. The one love him. Yeye anayempenda. He need him. Anamhitaji. Let him go. Mwachi aende. To the presence of God. Katika uwepo wa Mungu. To the beloved one. Ye, ye ambapo mpenzi wake. Alipo mpenzi wake. And now you see. Ana sasa unaona. The ten was looking for Adam. Wakati alikuwa akimtafuta Adam, you know. Unajua? In the sewage. Eh, sewage. Sewage. Ngule wanatia mavi. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, okay. Mle tamo tupa takataka mle. Maji taka. Sewage is 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 a dead place. Yaani kule kwenye wanakotupia maji taka kule ni kuchafu mno. Is it dead because your children is not there? Eh, ni kuchafu kwa sababu mtoto wako hayupo huko. <laughs> Let Jam, one day jampo. your children just fall down there. Acha mtoto wako atumbukie kule kwenye jambo ambalo. Could not be a dead place. Wewe ndipo utakapojua kwamba sio mahali pa chafu. You can prefer to get there. Kama wewe uchafu utakuzuia wewe kuingia pale. You got to protect. Kumulinda. Toto wako. The child. Toto wako. Why? Kwa nini? Because is your heart. Kwa sababu ni mo, mtoto ni moyo wako. Amen. Brother the dead the world was dead. Uh, ndugu dada, dunia ilikuwa ni chafu. Ni the jambo. time Adam fell down. Wakati Adam alipoanguka, God abandoned the throne. Mungu aliachia kitu chake cha cha ends. Akiacha. Daniel. Daniel is important more than the throne. Ni muhimu kuliko kile cha enzi cha Mungu. God abandoned the throne. Mungu aliacha kile cha enzi for Daniel. Kwa ajili ya Daniel. Daniel is important more than the angels. Eh, hey, Daniel ni wa muhimu kuliko malaika. God abandoned the angels. Mungu aliacha malaika for Daniel. Kwa ajili ya Daniel. He came down. Alishuka. He getting the pastor. Akaingia ndani ya mchungaji. Daniel. Daniel. Where are you? Uko wapi Daniel? 
Chungaji anatafuta Danieli Mungu akiwa ndani Danieli Ilikuwa ni Mungu Jesus Yesu Kupitia mchungaji The time Daniel will say yes Wakati Danieli alipo itika kusema Ndiyo naamini He took his part of him Alichukua semu yake The Holy Spirit Rome takatifu He put in him Aka weka ndani yake That is a protection Uo ndiyo ulinzi That time to kill Daniel you could God. Wakati wa ku ku Wakati wa ukimua Daniel umemua Mungu. The part of God is in Daniel. Same ya Mungu ilikuwa ndani ya Daniel. Daniel become God. Daniel maana yake anakuwa Mungu. Amen. What make you God? Ndio kufanya wewe Mungu ni nani? Is the part of God in you. Ni same ya Mungu ndani yako. Oh, someone can say amen. Moja sema mina. If you become God, okay, fufanyika kuwa mungu. You can't die. Uwezu kafa. God can't die. Mungu afi. I can't die. Siwezi ni kafa. I'm God. Mimi ni mungu. Dio. Amen. But if God is in me, lakini I have the eternal life. You kondani yangu ni na uzima wa milele. And the eternal life. Na uzima milele. He don't have a beginning. Hauna mwanzo. He don't have a end. Hauna mwisho. How he can die? Hey, hey, sorry. Yeah, Daniel anaweza kafa. Naweza aje kufa. Because the eternity is in him. Kwa sababu milele uko ndani yangu. The eternal life is in him. Uzima milele uko ndani yangu. Oh, Daniel you can't die. Daniel uwezo kafa. Is it this body can go back? Oh, mwili unaweza karudi. You you can't die. Na uwezo kafa. You are eternal. Wewe ni wa milele. Amen. Daniel is eternal. Daniel ni wa milele. Hallelujah. Is God. Sa Mungu. Sorry. Is God. Ni yeye ni Mungu. To touch him, he was to touch God. Okay, what? Okay, mushika e, umem mushika mungu. How the deaf can touch him? Eh, kifo. Kina wazaji kumushika o. Is why Daniel? Ndio mana Danieli. In the time of of Paul. Wakati wa Paulo. Do you understand that? Nangelewa yu. Daniel. Danieli. In the time of Paul. Wakati wa Paulo. He say. Adisema. Dave, kifo. Where is his power? Where when guvia kodi kwa pi kifo? Oh, do you believe that Daniel was there? Una amini katika siku ya ya Danieli. Kule kwa Paulo kwa mali kwepo. If you are Christian, kama oni mu Christian. The time Paul was saying that. Wakati Paulo kisha. You was there. Uli kwepo pale. Daniel was there. And he said to the death. Na alisema kwenye kifu kwa kifu. Where is your sting? Where? Tunani kifu. Anguvu yako nataka kile jamani sindano. Mwiba wako uko wapi we kifu? Akuna. Akuna. Where is your sting? Where? Mwiba wako uko wapi kifu? Oh grave. Where kaburi? Where is your victory? Ushindi wako uko wapi kaburi? They are not the victory. Hakuna ushindi. Because the Jesus in me. Kwa sababu Yesu Kristo ndani yangu. You overcome the death. Alishinda kifu. You overcome the grave. Alishinda na kaburi. Alitoka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, if he's in you, kama yuko ndani yako. The same God is in you. Kama Mungu yule yuko ndani yako. Utafufuka. You shall rise inside. Utafufuka kwa mbele za Jesus. Ompokea Yesu Kristo. He's not me living. Hata niacha mimi. Si mimi naishi. Sio kama Yesu yuko ndani yango, sio mimi naishi. Is Jesus in me? Kama Yesu Kristo yuko ndani yango. And Daniel, na Danieli, he was not him. Aikuwa yeye. He was Jesus. Aikuwa ni Yesu. Amen. It's not accident. Sa, sio sio msaidi zuake. It's not accident he went. Sio sio ajali. No. Apana. No. Apana. We don't believe in accident. Atu amini katika ajali. It was the plan of God. Is it that now? Where in my image? You are in my image. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! 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 H
in Genesis, katika uh, mwanzo, the time he took that man in the image of God, wakati aliweka ule mtu katika sura ya Mungu, he put him in the body, aliniweka katika mwili, to be in contact with this world. Ili nikutane na ni, ni, niweze kuwasiliana na ile dunia hii hapa duniani. Now if the Holy Spirit get in you. Waka, roho mtakatifu akija ndani yako. You grow in the image of God. Unakuwa katika sura ya Mungu. God move you. Uh, Mungu anakuchukua. And he make another board. Na, kuf, na kutengeneza mwili mwingine. For that place. Kwa ajili ya sehemu hiyo. Is what we are calling the glorified body. Ndio huyo tunaoita mwili uliotukuka. Is a telephone board. Ni mwili wa, wa kineno. Is a board weight. Ni ni mwili wa kineno. And he found that the, the, the inside is ready. Na ukakuta uh, katika siku ile kwamba huko ndani he make another body. Tayari akafanya mwili mwingine. He takes the spiritual body was in you. Akachukua ule mwili wa kiroho ndani yako. He move it. Akauchukua. He put in a spiritual body. Akaweka katika mwili wa kiroho. The time you get there. Wakati unapofika wapo you are become speed. Unakuwa roho. Yeah. You become speed. O, Speed? Kasi. Oh. Akata kufikisha umri unakuwa kasi sasa. You can make the round of the world. Ukanaweza ukazunguka dunia hii. Dunia nzima in one second. Kwa katika sekunde moja ta 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 umezunguka dunia nzima. And you look to the people. Alafu unaangalia watu. Why do you cry? Kwa nini unalia? With your piggy piggy. Na na baba baba yenu hao. Now have a special piggy piggy. Mna. Una Naza mimi na pikipiki nzuri zaidi. I can move distance. Naweza nikaenda umbali mrefu sana. In 1 second. Katika sekunde moja. I go around. Nazunguka dunia nzima. Amen. And the time brother is rejoicing. Na wakati ndugu yetu anafurahia. He's the king. Yeye ni mfalme. He prays. Ni 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 kuhani. Around. Akizungukwa na malaika. Protect. Wakimlinda. And you go to tell him. Alafu nataka kumwambie. Go back. Rudi kwenye mwili wake dunia. Amwelewani. Utakwambia eh. Nini hiyo? Brother Bernard went to that place. Ndugu Bernard alienda kwenye same hiyo. They push him. Wakamsukuma kutoka kurudi. Ah. Ah, mimi sirudi. Unanipeleka wapi? Is it this body lay there? Akaona mwili wake umelala pale. You can go. Unaweza kaenda. Rudi. Unaweza kwa ni mwili wako. Aka mistaki. Ah, anataka nibaki huko huko. Baba na mset. They are not the weight. Anasema hakuna maneno. Ya kuelezea. They are not weight. Hakuna neno au maneno. In the human being language. Katika lugha ya mwanadamu. To explain. Kuelezea. The beauty is in that place. Uzuri wa sehemu hiyo. Oh, I love that place. Oh, napenda sehemu hiyo. Do you love that place? Leo unapenda sehemu hiyo. Oh, if you love it. Ndio mna unaipenda. One day. Siku moja. You shall be with Daniel. Utakuwa pamoja na Danieli. If you believe in Jesus. Kama unaamini katika Yesu Kristo. If you believe in Jesus. Kama unaamini katika Yesu Kristo. You receive the Holy Spirit. Na upokea Roho Mtakatifu. I wish you. Na kutakia. Welcome. Karibu, karibu. Welcome. Karibu. You shall get in that place. Utaingia sehemu hiyo. And you shall never. Na kamwe want to come here. Hutataka kurudi hapa. That place. Sehemu hiyo. They are not wait. Hakuna maneno katika lugha ya binadamu. Ya kuelezea. They are not that word in English. Sina hilo neno katika Kiingereza. Hata Kiswahili alipo. In the French they are not. Hata katika Kifaransa hamna. As he, he, he misses the word to put there. Alivyo kosa neno la kuweka hapo. He said it's just perfect. Akasema ni kamilifu tu. Love perfect. Ni kamilifu tu. Is love perfect there. Ni kamilifu tu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to get there. Ukitaka kufika kule. It's just love perfect. Ni ni unupendo mkamilifu. Do you want to love perfect? Ni upendo mnapenda upendo mkamilifu. The message of the hour. Amini ujumbe wa kati. Amini ujumbe wa kati. Love perfect. Ni. If you believe it. Okay, amen. Receive the love perfect. Okay, open up the love perfect. Come on, keep on praying. Open up the love perfect. Siku moja utatembea kama malaika. Like Enoch. Kama Enoch. Hallelujah. Atembea hivyo akakuta. Anatembea hivyo akakuta huyo ana ana pao huyo siku moja. Akaangalia nyuma na tembea na bwana. Oh, Hallelujah. We shall go in heaven on foot. Siku moja 
Tutaingia mbinguni kwa kutembea tu. Oh, we are walking. Unatembea na mwenyewe. Unatukutoe pa. Believe us amen. Waamini usemeni amina. Believe us amen. Waamini usemeni amina. We don't have time. Tatuna wakati. May God bless you. Mungu nawabariki sana. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. Na labda ningependa tu kusisitiza kwamba anaposema umwamini Yesu Amen. 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 Paulo wakati wa Paulo kwa sababu amegusa wakati wa Paulo. Paulo alisema alijua watu wanapenda sana kumfata Yesu. Na wanamtaka sana Yesu. Wanajua Yesu ni mtu mzuri. Wanajua Yesu ana uzima wa milele. Wanamhitaji sana Yesu. Akasema sasa nyie wote mnaotaka kumfata Yesu. Kuna njia hapa ma- masharti isikie kidogo. Akasema hivi ngoja ni wao, mimi na waonyesha mfano. Sasa nifuateni mimi kwa nyuma huku kama mimi ninavyomfuata Yesu. Yes. Yaani njia ya kumfuata Yesu akasema nifuateni mimi kama mimi ninavyomfuata msini overtake. <laughs> msini overtake. Amen. Kwa hiyo wale wanaomfata Yesu kwa kawaida kwa kweli huwa wanaona mgongo wa Paulo tu. Unafuata nyuma. Kwa hiyo una hakika kwamba ili mradi tu Paulo yu mbele yako basi Yesu yu mbele mbele zaidi. Kwa hiyo unamfuata Yesu. Haleluya. Amen. Na Mungu katika nyakati zote ambazo kanisa limepitia, wengine hata hawajui kama kanisa limesha kuwa na Paulo saba Hawajui. Wako gizani hawajui. Lakini baada ya Paulo kuondoka kuna mwingine aliinuka. Kumfata Yesu ni kuwa nyuma ya huyo. Hadi leo hii. Haleluya. Danieli alikuwa anamfata Yesu mgongoni mwa mtu anaitwa William Marion Branham. Haleluya. Huyo kama ujui habari zake kwanza anaitwa William hiyo jina ni herufi saba Marion ni herufi saba Branham ni herufi saba Haleluya na amekuja hapa duniani wakati ambapo ni time ya mpinga Kristo kuinuka na mmesha msikia saa hizi mpinga Kristo kuinuka ambaye mpinga Kristo ni, mia, ni namba sita 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 na namba pekee inaweza ikashinda sita 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 ni saba 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 haleluya kwa hiyo mtu wa saba mwenye majina saba mwenye majina yenye herufi saba uwe macho henoko alikuwa mtu wa saba kutoka adamu Ah 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 alikuwa mtu wa saba Henoko alikuwa mtu wa saba kutoka Adamu. Amen. Amina. Henoko akiwa mtu wa saba kutoka Adamu ndiye aliyenyakuliwa. Na wale msiojua Danieli alimfuata mtu wa saba baada ya kutoka Paulo. Amina amina amina. Kwa hiyo ukweli wa mambo unabakia kwamba sikilizeni kuna watu wanafikiri kwamba wanaweza kwenda mbinguni wao wenyewe uwezi. Uwezi kwenda mbinguni bila kufuata mtu. Kwenda mbinguni unaenda nyuma ya mtu. Na mtu huyo lazima awe alitumwa kutoka mbinguni. Amina. Na Mungu hata siku moja hajawahi kufuata watu moja kwa moja. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Mungu alitaka kuja kuwatoa Israeli Misri. Akashuka kwa Musa, akamwambia Musa nimeshuka kuwatoa wana wa Israeli. Sasa nakutuma. 
Ala, mbwani asiende mwenyewe. <laughs> na kashashuka. <laughs> Lakini anataka kule aende Musa. Ili... <laughs> Haleluya. Ili watu wamfate Musa ndio kumfata Yehova. Yes, Haya, Yesu naye akataka Mungu alitaka aje duniani kuitembelea dunia yeah. na kuonja maisha ya joto, njaa, mm. malaria, mnelewa mm. baridi, mm. kiu, mm. vyote hivyo. Yeah. Ayaonje hayo. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Sasa kwa sababu alitaka kuja kuyaonja mm. Hata hivyo kwa sababu ni kanuni ya Mungu kwamba wezi kwenda peke yake. Hey. Akasema Yohana, hey. binamu yangu tangulia. Yeah. Hey. Watakao kukubali wewe. Hey. Hao ndio wanao ni husu. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Anapoondoka akasema akawaambia mitume. Awa, awapokea ninyi anipokea mimi. Awakatae ninyi amenikataa mimi. Haya swali hapo. Swali, swali, swali. Kuna mtu yeyote anaweza kumpokea Yesu moja kwa moja? Yesu alisema awapokee ninyi ndio aninipokea mimi. Anayewakataa na nikataa mimi. Kwa hiyo hata kumkataa Yesu inabidi unikatae mimi. Haleluya. Yaani kumkataa Yesu lazima ukatae mwenzio. Hakuna namna ya kumkataa Yesu ila kukataa mwenzio. Hakuna namna ya kumpokea Yesu isipokuwa kumpokea mwenzio. Huo ndio mfumo Mungu alioweka. Namalizia kwa kusema hivi. Haleluya. Mimi hapa niliyesimama hapa ni wakala. Ni wakala wa mbinguni. Niko hapa ni agent. Mungu abariki sana. Kwa hiyo wale ambao mnatamani kwenda mbinguni, tuonane mkinikwepa amwendi. Jamani. Oh, watumishi wa Mungu walioko hapa wote hao. Mawakala watupu hapa. Haleluya. Amen. Wakala, wakala. Ukisikia habari ya wakala, heshimu wakala. Amen. Yeah. Amina. Yeah. Na unajua wakala aweki vinywaji mbalimbali mm. chungu nzima. Yaani wakala wa kampuni ya Pepsi mm. akikutwa na Coca-Cola anafukuzwa. Yeah. Kama ni wa Pepsi anakuwa na Pepsi peke yake. Yeah. Na wakala hata akikupa friji dukani kwake, wakala amekupa friji ya Pepsi. Akikuta ina juisi hata kama ni aembe. Hiyo juisi, hiyo hiyo friji inaondoka. Yeah. Sasa Tuna watu ambao wanadai ni mawakala wa Mungu. Lakini leo hii wamechukua ushoga wakaweka kwenye friji ya Mungu. Chapo chapo. Biblia inasema amelaaniwa sikiza Biblia inasema amelaaniwa mtu yule alalae na mwanaume mwenzie mfano wa mwanamke. Amefanya nini? Alafu kanisa fulani rembo sana linasema hivi sisi tutawabariki. Yaani aliyelaaniwa wewe utambariki Biblia inasema aliyelaaniwa uwezi kumbariki aliyelaaniwa. Wala uwezi kumlaani aliyebarikiwa. Sasa hivi watu nyinyi kweli hata kaakili kidogo tu kakujua kwamba muko shimoni hamuna. Simukimbie hilo likanisa. Hilo hilo dude la nini hilo mnaita kanisa mnakaa humo. Yaani 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 shimo la mashoga yaani mnakaa humo. He? Mnakaa humo. Haleluya. Aliyewapa watu wakala. Anasema sitaki kuona mwanamke anasimama mimbarani. Ye, Paul, na Paulo ndiye anasema. Simpi ruhusa mwanamke kufundisha ala kumtawala mwanamke. Sasa nyinyi mawakala mbona mmebeba wanawake mmeweka kwenye friji la Paulo? Mungu awabariki angalau angalau. Amina bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hisi nikiongea nitaharibu.
wangapi wangependa namba ya wakala <laughs> Situmesee kuna wakala jamani yeah. wangapi wangependa namba ya wakala Naomba wakala mwenyewe ataje namba yake Sifuri Nitaje pole pole Sifuri Saba Sita Tano Themanini Themanini Hamsina sita Narudia Sifuri saba Sita tano Themanini themanini Hamsina sita Mungu wabariki Amen Amen. <coughs> Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Amen. Uh, ukweli nilifika mali nikapotea. Nilipotea nikasahau kama tuko kuna kitu hichi. Nika nikaanza kuimba moyoni. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. Nis eh siku eh, eh? siku Bwana amefanya Bwana amefanya This is the day that I, oh, oh, mm. This is the day that God has made Nisiku Oh Bwana amefanya Yaani nikwambie usingeweza kuifanya hii siku. Kuna mtu anaweza kuifanya? Hakuna. Lakini Bwana ameifanya. Ili haya yaliyonenwa yasikike masikioni mwako. Kwa hiyo this is a day that God has made. Amen. Ili wewe usikie. Amen mawakala wa, wa kutoka mbinguni heavenly agents wako hapa duniani na nilikuwa nikitafakari sana na najua kila mtu alikuwa akitafakari sana kuhusu hili jambo lakini Mungu anajua kwa hiyo alifanya haya yote ili 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 wewe usikie Biblia nasema kufa ni faida ukiwa mkristo kwa hiyo hizi ndizo faida za wewe usikie. Kwa hiyo na hisi kama nikizungumza nitaharibu. Mungu awabariki sana. Makofi kwa mawakala wa Bwana. <laughs> Amen. Basi naomba aliendaliwa kwa ajili ya historia fupi ya ndugu yetu Daniel. Bwana Yesu awabariki. Amen. Na kwenda kusoma historia fupi ya shujaa Na mtakatifu Dani elimesha kimgai Aleluya Ni mtakatifu Dani elimesha kimgai Kamu nakubali kwa mba ni mtakatifu piga makofi Amen Tumezoea wale watakatifu wano tengi kubalika kwenye kikao cha sini hendri Mungu awabariki. Mtakatifu Daniel Meshak Mgaya alizaliwa tarehe kumi mwezi wa nne mwaka 1981 kijiji cha Chance mkoani Lukwa wilaya Sumbawanga. Maisha. Mtakatifu Daniel Meshak Mgaya aliishi mkoani Lukwa ambapo alianza shule ya msingi na baadaye kumaliza masomo yake ya msingi na sekondari. Baada ya kuhitimu masomo yake ya sekondari alihamia Kariako, jijini Dar es Salaam, na kujiajiri mwenyewe na kuanzisha shule ya chekechea ijulikanayo kwa jina la DMM New Vision, iliyoko Kariako mtaa wa Jangwani, jijini Dar es Salaam. Miaka kadhaa baadaye alikutana na ujumbe wa malaki nne tano. Maana alikutana na wakara wa mbinguni. Haleluya. Akauamini na kuyatoa maisha yake kwa Bwana Yesu. Na tangu wakati huo hakuona aibu. 
Haleluya. Kutoa ushuhuda wake. Kila mahali alioelezea watu na kuhubiri ile injili ya asili. Haleluya. Na wiki mbili tatu zizo nyuma wiki mbili tatu alitokea kibiti. Haleluya. Akaingiza watu saba kwa Kristo. Haleluya. Alikuwa ananipa huu ushuhuda. Kwa hiyo nasoma kwa ushujaa habari za mtakatifu Daniel. Haleluya. Mtakatifu Daniel Mgaya alikumbwa na tukio la ajali mbaya lililotokea siku ya Jumane tarehe mbili Januari 2024 mida ya saa nne usiku maeneo ya Gongora Mboto mwisho wa Rami. Akiwa anaendesha pikipiki akirejea nyumbani, lori kubwa la mchanga li, likitokea pugu lilifeli Blake kwenye mteremko mkali likamshinda dreva na kuparamia bajaji pamoja na pikipiki kadhaa ikiwemo ya ndugu ikiwemo ya mtakatifu Daniel inasemekana kwamba kuna waliopoteza maisha pale pale ili ila yeye hali akiwa hajitambui alikimbizwa hospitali ya pugu kajiungeni na baadaye kupewa rufaa katika hospitali ya amana uchunguzi ulibaini ya kuwa aliumia zaidi sehemu ya kichwani kila jitihada ilifanyika kunusuru maisha yake lakini ilishindikana hivyo mtakatifu Daniel aliaga dunia siku ya Jumatano tarehe 3 Januari 2024 saa tisa jioni na kwenda kuungana na mke wake utukufuni mke wake ambaye ni mtakatifu mwingine aliyetangulia huko karibuni takriban miezi miwili iliyopita haleluya mtakatifu Daniel Meshaki ameacha watoto wawili wa kiume Gracious Daniel miaka kumi ne elibiliva dani miaka sita ambao nao ni watakatifu sio yatima ni watakatifu haleluya bwana alitoa na bwana ametoa jina la bwana libarikiwe makofi kwa mtakatifu Daniel naomba twende kwenye salamu za rambi rambi hatakuwa na muda kurodesha majina ya wale walio na salamu za rambi rambi lakini naomba kwa vikundi maalum na watu maalum salamu zao za rambi rambi ili tukitoka hapa tukienda kuhifadhi mwili tuwe tumemaliza amina ni mnisamehe ni najua naomba tulifanye hivyo ili tuweze kuokoa wakati wetu naomba nianze na mwakilishi kutoka shuri Hindu Mandal Sakos baada hapo akimaliza kama kuna mwingine ana salamu za rambi rambi uwe ukisogea karibu ili akimaliza uweze kuendelea. Okay baada shuru uh, shuri Hindu Mandali shule ile ambayo um, eh, ni decent ni nini? Decent. Basi nao na salamu zao. Kwa akishamaliza mwakilishi wa eh, shuri Hindu Mandali Sakos basi atafuata mwakilishi kutoka hiyo shule ya decent halafu wengine tutaendelea. Karibu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Asalamu alaikum. Ndugu zangu, mimi ni Yusufu ni Muislamu. Lakini ndugu Daniel ni mtu mwema sana. Amen. Nilichoongelewa hapa ambapo Daniel naweza mkamchukua ni mtu wa kawaida. Lakini sio mtu wa kawaida. Daniel ni mtu mkubwa sana. Kwa mimi niliyotokea Shirin Mandal Sakos ni chama cha ushirika cha Akiba na Mikopo ambapo mimi pale ni askari wa jeshi la Akiba. Lakini nimemchukulia kuni mdogo wangu kwa miaka ninaomuona. Kwa sababu 76 na moja ni mdogo wangu lakini ni mtu ambaye ana hekima kubwa sana na nguvu alizopewa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Kumjua Daniel mi mwenyewe nimesikitika sana. Hii ajali nimeiona kwa sababu mimi ni mtu wa kinondoni lakini nimejenga chanika. Lakini uaga natoka asubuhi sana na gari ndogo. Lakini sikio nilitoka na gari kubwa ambao ni Tatars. Lakini nilikuta majani mengi sana. Kama Mwenyezi Mungu ungekuwa amenionyesha kushuka na kuangalia ina maana mimi ingekuwa mmoja wapo wa kumpeleka hata hospitali. Danieli anapokuja ofisini kwetu sisi. Kuna mtu alitoka hapa sijui anasema Danieli alitoka kibiti. Danieli ndio huruka yake mimi nimeona sasa leo. Kwa sababu Danieli akija ofisini kwanza ataanza 
kutubia maswala ya Mungu. Na Danieli mimi ndio alikuwa napingana naye. Danieli alikuwa anapingana naye lakini sio kwa kupingana naye kwa sababu unaponiona mimi nyinyi wa Kristo mnajua kwamba Yusufu ni baba wa Yesu. Na mimi mnaponiona hapa nimepitia katika mikondo ya Kikristo. Nimeshiriki sana viwawa Kinondoni. Nimeshiriki viwawa ananasifu ilikuwa anacheza kama Yesu na familia yetu wengine ni Wakristo. Sasa mimi nimetumwa kuja huku na nilipenda nije huku kumzika huyu bwana. Na sijawahi kufika huku. Ndi mara yangu ya kwanza na kumjua mji wake huu hapa. Danieli mwezi uliopita tulikuwa naye Indumanda alikuja. Ina maana labda kumbe alikuja kutuaga. Kwa hiyo sisi waislamu tunasema inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi. Kila mtu atakwenda huko anakokwenda. Kwa hiyo kwa sisi tuliokuwa hapa tusicheke. Huyu mwezetu ametangulia lakini katika nyinyi mliokuwa hapa wote na mimi hapa. Unaweza ukatoka hapa ukafika nyumbani ukalala asubuhi haupo au ukatoka hapa ukafika barabarani ukachukua bounce tukamfuata ujamaa tukaungana naye. Kwa hiyo mimi nimetumwa lambi lambi ya ubwana mkubwa sio nyingi sana. Nimetumwa laki moja na nusu kwa kawaida ya shirika jinsi linavyo linavotuma. Kwa hiyo naomba pia nikitoa hizi lambi lambi kuna taratibu ndugu wenyewe atakaa kufata taratibu kwa sababu huyu bwana ana haki zake kule. Kwa hiyo msije mkakaa hapa ndugu mkasema bwana kwa sababu sio ndio maana ameongea live kwamba huyu ni mwanachama wa shirini ndio maana sakos. Ina maana anapofanya biashara zake za shule yote majengo yake yote mnayaona haya. Danieli amepitia kwa uwezo wa huko Shirin Dumanda Lisakos amejiwezesha na mpaka amejenga mpaka shule kume. Kwa hiyo sisi tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa alipo na mke wake basi hawalazi malipe mapeponi. Mimi nitawakilisha kwa mtu aliyokuwa ndugu hapa ujumbe huu. Karibuni sana Sakosi, karibuni sana Shirin Dumanda Lisakos. Mimi nabii Yusufu. Uh, shule ya wakilishi wa shule ya decent karibuni hii ni kutoa kari yako Jesus chanika okay ah uh, okay all right tumsifu Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asalamu alaikum basi kwa niaba ya uongozi wafanya kazi wazazi na wanafunzi wa shule ya awali na msingi decent awali ya yote tunapenda kutoa pole kwa familia ndugu jamaa na marafiki kwa haya ambayo yametokea lakini pia tunaungana nao katika kipindi hiki kigumu ambacho familia inapitia lakini mbili tumekuja hapa kama taasisi lakini tuliweza kumfahamu ndugu Daniel katika pande kuu mbili cha kwanza kwa sababu alikuwa ni mdau wa elimu amewekeza katika elimu sehemu ambayo na sisi pia tumewekeza hivyo basi tulikuwa tunashauriana mambo mengi tuna shule naye kama ilivyosemwa katika katika taarifa yake ni kwamba alikuwa na Tulikuwa tunashauriana vitu vingi. Alikuwa anatushauri akija pale shuleni na sisi tulikuwa tunamshauri. Lengo ni katika kujenga na kuendeleza kila mtu sehemu ambapo amewekeza. Lakini pili tuliweza kumfahamu ndugu Diana ile kwa sababu ni mdau katika shule yetu, ni mzazi ambaye ana mwanafunzi pale ambaye anasoma darasa la tano mwaka huu ataingia. Miezi miwili iliyopita nakumbuka kama alivyosema tuliweza kumzika mke wake kipenzi lakini sasa hivi tumempoteza yeye. Hivyo tunatambua kwamba mtoto yule anahitaji kuendelea na elimu. Hivyo kama taasisi kama shule management tulika na maamuzi ambayo tumefikia ni kwamba jukumu la kumsomesha mtoto shule tunalibeba mpaka atakapomaliza darasa la saba Paka atakapomaliza darasa la saba endapo tu ataendelea na masomo katika ile shule. Kwa hiyo hilo jukumu tunalibeba kwa mikono miwili tunatambua mtoto tunabidi apate haki yake ya msingi ambayo ni elimu na baba yake alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ndio alikuwa muhimili wa kuweza kumlipia hiyo ada. Hivyo yote tumeyabeba kama taasisi. Lakini lakini pia toka tuliweza kupata hizo taarifa kama nilivyoweza kusema mwanzo tulizipokea kwa uzuni sana. Hatukuweza kuamini lakini katika hali ya kawaida lakini kiimani zaidi tulilipokea na kulibeba hivyo tulishirikiana na familia katika hatua mbalimbali 
mambo yote nadhani sisi tulisharekebisha na familia tuliwasiliana pamoja na uongozi wa kanisa tumeshiriki pakubwa tu kwa nafasi yetu asanteni ni sana sitapenda kuzungumza nini Mungu Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Sawa Mimi ah, ni mzazi lakini sikuja kwa niaba ya mzazi nimekuja mimi kama mimi Tunaambiwa tutaje mema ya marehemu wanapoondoka eh, Dani tumeishi naye kwa wema Dani alivyotoka huko kufungua shule yake alianza hapo mtakari yako na jangwani Mwenyekiti wa hapo ni Alimalima unaona alianzia hapo lakini da, na tumepakana ukuta hapo amefungua shule unakata ukuta kuna madrasa madrasa ambayo imeanza toka mwaka hamsini umeshanielewa imeanza toka mwaka hamsini lakini ndani tulishirikiana naye hakuwa yule mkristo wa kubagua dini hakuwa yule mkristo mwenye makeke sijui waislam nini alikuwa mtu mmoja mzuri sana umeelewa na katika dini yetu tunaambiwa kiislamu kama hata dini utudanu utakavyofanya ndivyo utakavyolipa utakavyoishi ndivyo utakavyofanyiwa na wewe dani pale shule mimi kuna watoto ambao walikuwa hawana uwezo na dani bwana wewe ana hana, hana uwezo bwana mimi na supply inform wewe utamsaidia nani alikuwa anawapokea na walikuwa anasoma bure umeshanielewa ambao walikuwa anajua yeye tu na mimi umeshanielewa na hili limejidhihirisha hapa kwamba na yeye ameondoka amepata watu wa kumsomeshea watoto wake maneno ya Mungu ni sahihi kabisa na Mungu hapendi mabaya Mungu anapenda mazuri umeona dani alikuwa ukimshauri kitu anasikia wakati anaanza nikamwambia dani ebu si unaanza shule yako bado jana nani hebu washione watoto vijoho wakati wa graduation hebu washione alafu tuta, tutaongea na mwenyekiti na nini tutakuja nani mgeni rasmi tutamtafuta mko nani zungu alifuata vile aliwashonea majoho graduation ilikuwa nzuri sana na ilifana na shule yake ilitambaa kila mzazi ya shule ile nini alijaza watu kwa kweli alikuwa msikivu na jengine ambalo alikuwa nalo dani Uh, dani uh, watoto wake mimi by profession ni daktari eh, lakini watoto wake wote kwanza kabla kumuona mama yao aliniona mimi ndio niliwapokea alafu nikamwita baba yao akawaona alafu ndo mama yao wote wawili yani niliwapokea sasa na mimi nasema hivi namuomba Mwenyezi Mungu awape watu awa, tayari wana watu wa hurma awazidishie watu hurma awazidishie watu imani awazidishie watu mapenzi wawale wapate elimu ya dini na dunia wakae salama inshallah wa billahi wa tawfiq asante na wasalimu kwa jina la jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania wakazi wote mnotoka kari yako naomba muinuke hivi kidogo wote akina mama kule nadhani mmekimbia Jamani mmeona hao ndugu zetu wametoka club ya Yanga pale kama mwenyekiti hapa kuna wazazi ambao nao wameitwa hapa lakini mwisho wa siku wamefilisika kwa mazungumzo walioyaona hapa nadhani tukiwaita kwa wengine watashindwa hata kuongea lakini kwa niaba ya serikali ya mtaa ni muombe mtendaji wangu hapa maana yupo huyu ni mkazi wa huko ndio mtendaji lakini mimi niongee maana yake nimekuja na mawili lakini naomba niongee mimi moja kama mwakilishi wa wazazi kwa sababu mimi mtoto wangu yuko pale na watoto wangu wote wamepita pale wamechoma kwa bahati nzuri uh, tangia majuzi kwa napata simu tukuulizwa kwamba mwenyekiti umempost teacher Dani lakini mwisho wa siku watoto wetu sisi atakuwa amewacha na nani yani ni kitu ambacho kwangu mimi kilikuwa kinanipa mtihani kinanipa mtihani lakini pia wamepita wengi hapa wanasema wao ni mawakala wamepita wengine wametoa mawaidha lakini kwangu mimi uh, kama mwenyekiti pia nina dini 
lakini dini yetu cha kwanza ilisisitiza ilmu yani ukiwa na ilmu na ndio maana umeona hapa tunaongea wachungaji lakini ya ilmu sio za kwenu hizi hizi mmechukua kutoka huko na hata Yesu alikuwa na wanafunzi Muhammad alikuwa na maswahaba lakini wale ni wanafunzi kwa hiyo teacher Dani alikuwa anafanya kazi ya ya ya, ya, ya kinabii kwa namna nyingine umeona eh, eh na umeona hali halisi ilikuwepo hapa kwamba kila mtu kimuinua hapa kuna 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 viongozi kibao hapa umeona eh? na kuna watu wengine wameacha shughuli zao kwa hiyo uhalisia tu tuseme kwamba tuishi kulingana na Mwenyezi Mungu anavyotaka kwa sababu mwalimu alikuwa kuna muda mwingine ndio mwalimu ambaye anafundisha kwa bei rahisi English medium pale kwetu Yaani mwalimu ambaye mzazi akisema kwamba hana ada anamvumilia. Na mtoto akishakuwa tu miaka mitatu kwa usinojua kali yako kuna mambo mengi ndugu zetu wale sometime mtoto anakuwa baba anakimbia. Lakini mtu anakuambia kabisa huyo akisimama kidogo peleka kwa ticha dani. Yaani alikuwa ni mlezi. Ni mlezi. Ni mlezi. Kwa maana na hata mchana sisi watoto wa Kiswahili kule purukushani mtoto halali mchana lakini akaenda kwa tikia dani kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa kumi na moja ina maana kwamba kuna muda watoto wanalala alikuwa kwa kifupi anatulelea watoto wetu <coughs> Mtoto wangu mimi ah, kwenye bai saa tisa nipata hiyo taarifa lakini mtoto wangu akana ananiuliza usiku Baba tikia dani amefariki saa tisa usiku ananiuliza mtoto wangu mimi akulala Polimo nyikiti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi si nitaweza kuendelea na mengine kutokana na mengi yameongelewa. Wakala wa, wa mbinguni wameongea. Kwa hiyo tutaongea mengi ila sisi kama serikali ya mtaa kutokana na Daniel alikuwa ni mwenzetu, ni mkazi wetu. Una rambi rambi tutaiona familia. Asante. Amen. Bwana Yesu awabariki. Uh, mimi pia nimesimama hapa kwa ajili tu ya shukurani, machache ya shukurani. Kwanza ni shukuru kwa ajili ya wote waliosimama hapa na kutoa ushuhuda mbalimbali. Kuanzia mama daktari unajua katika kila kitu kuna kitu cha kujifunza. Amezungumza hapa kirefu sana hata baadhi ya watu wali, labda wangefikiri ametumia muda mrefu lakini kwa mtu mtu kuna kitu cha kujifunza. Amen. Alikuwa anaongea kutoka kilindi cha moyo wake. Na maana ni kwamba Danieli alifanikiwa kuingia ndani ya mioyo ya watu. Unamwona mtu anavyoongea kwa hisia ile inakuonyesha Danieli alikuwa nani. Anagusa mioyo ya watu. Hata kama ni wadini tofauti, lakini bado walijua huyu mtu sio wa kawaida. Amen. Unaona kundi kama hilo ambao wametoka Kariakoo wote wamekuja hapa. Yote inatutangazia kwamba Danieli aliishi maisha. Hakuishi maneno, aliishi maisha. Tunapomwona mwenyekiti wa serikali ya mtaa analia. Yote hayo ni ushuhuda kwamba Danieli alikuwa Danieli kweli. Sasa sisi binafsi tuna ushuhuda na Danieli. Danieli huwa yuko kile alicho. Anajulikana a, ni mtu asiye mnafiki. Na mtu asiyeonea haya kusema vile alivyoshawishika. Popote pale. Hivyo ndivyo Danieli alivyokuwa. Kwa hiyo kwetu sisi Danieli kwa kweli alikuwa ni mtu wa kipekee. Sasa nitoe shukurani uh, Ya, na toa shukrani kwa kwa wote ambao wali, wamejitokeza tangu wakati ajali ilipotokea. Wakati ajali ilipotokea, <coughs> nilikuwa mtu wa kwanza kupigiwa simu na nilikuwa na baadhi ya watu tulilazimika kukimbia huku na huku uh, mpaka hayo yaliyofanyika yakafanyika. Lakini pia tumekuwa na majirani ambao baada ya kupata taarifa za msiba wamekuwa 
hapa wakisaidia hili na lile lakini pia jambo jingine tumekuwa na makanisa mbalimbali sisi tuna makanisa mbalimbali ambayo yanajulikana kwa ma- mahali alipo hapa Dar es Salaam na kwa kweli tumepata joto kubwa sana kutoka kwa makanisa hayo pamoja na wachungaji wake na nitakuwa nafikiri ni sema ningekuwa na mapepo kama sitazungumzia jambo hilo tunashukuru sana mchungaji Shija wa kanisa la Ubungo pamoja na kanisa la Ubungo wamekuwa karibu na sisi katika jambo hili wamefanya kile chochote walichoweza kufanya kuna kanisa la banana na mchungaji Oswald hebu yeye yuko hapa mchungaji Shija hayupo lakini kuna wawakilishi wapo mchungaji msaidizi kama kama ndivyo au shemasi mwenyekiti wa mashemasi na na hayuko peke yake wako wengine watatu hapo wanne yani jumla timu ya watu wanne wamekuja hapa waliotumwa kumwakilisha mchungaji mkisimama itakuwa vizuri e, hao wote wanatoka ubungu halafu labda niende hivi tuna mchungaji Chidae kanisa la maskani ya uzima pale Segerea yeye aliniambia kwamba unajua ni mzee aliniambia ana shida ya mgongo kidogo kwa hiyo alishindwa kuja lakini amewakilishwa na tuna mchungaji msaidizi hapo ndugu Fredi pamoja na Chite tunaomba wasimame labda tungeomba nao wasimame kidogo tume, tume ku, uh, na wote hao tumepokea pia rambi rambi zao ambazo baadaye nitaeleza zitafanya nini nzuri tu rambi rambi sio ndogo yani tumepokea mkono wa pole si haba kutoka kwa hayo makanisa na nafikiri huu ni, ni, ni jambo kuu ambalo limefanyika naomba Mungu atusaidie liendelee amen tuna mchungaji reminisere Oshoraeli Masawe mchungaji wa kanisa letu la Kibaha pia hivyo hivyo hawa wametushika mkono na kuja na jua kuna watu wengine wa kibaha pia wako hapa. Amina. Alafu tuna ndugu yetu Kambarage. Wa maskani ya Brani ya Mpale Mongola ndege. Tumekuwa naye toka juzi hapa. Na leo mmeona hata eh, wosi amesoma yeye. Mungu akubariki. Tuna mchungaji Frank Ulomi kutoka Mlandizi. Na kanisa la Mlandizi kwa jumla akiliwakilisha kwa kubariki unaweza kusimama na wewe nataka vikuonyesha huu ushirikiano ni mzuri lakini tuna mchungaji Zablon Mari Zablon Mari wa maskani ya eh, Mialoni ya Mamre pale Tegeta ah nilipompigia simu tu mara moja alichukua hatua kuonana na mpesa yangu na hatimaye yupo hapa na mchungaji Oswadi wa kanisa la banana alisha simama ni fini yanzia huko afu nikaenda kule <coughs> Mungu awabariki sana Bwana Yesu awabariki Kwa hiyo Okay kuna kanisa la uh, ma, na kanisa la Tandika uh, eh, Shalom Tabe nako ambako huyu mchungaji aliyehubiri hapa amehubiri kwa niaba ya mchungaji kwa sababu mchungaji yuko safarini na yule alikuwa mchungaji wangu kabla kwa hivyo huyu mchungaji aliyehubiri hapa na tupa ujumbe mzuri sana mambo aliyoyagusa mambo aliyoyagusa ni mazito kwa hiyo yeye pia pamoja na wa, watu waliowakilisha kutoka mtongani na kutoka tandika wako wengi tu labda ndugu Yohana ungesogea tu mngepunga kidogo au hata Yohana tu lakini kuna kisa jingine liko luguruni mbezi mchungaji Kikoti Kikoti mchungaji Kikoti kwa hmm? amejitenga na wachungaji umejitenga na wachungaji ah Mungu akubariki <laughs> ah jumla kwa jumla yake ni seme tuna umoja wetu ushirika wa ushirika wa wachungaji na wahudumu wa neno la Mungu amen Am, wa Dar es Salaam na Pwani kwa hiyo hawa wote ni wawakilishi wa tuna vikao vyetu na hao ni mawakala ambao kwa kweli wamejihudhurisha hapa kwenye kikao cha e, kwenye kikao hiki cha dharura Mungu awabariki sana 
Sasa kuna jambo ambalo napenda pia na mimi nizungumze kwanza e, tulikuwa moja ya mambo ambayo tulilazimika kuyafikiria ambayo yamejibiwa na Mungu hapa kwamba watu wengi walikuwa nasema itakuwaje hao watoto Huyu ndugu Danieli mke wake sisi tunasema hakufa amelala tunasema sisi kifo tunaita kulala Amelala alilala miezi miwili tu iliyopita tulikuwa hapa hapa Sasa Danieli naye kalala Sawa Sasa <coughs> Watu wengi wakawa nazungumza kuhusu jamani wale watoto mmoja na miaka kumi uh, na ndiye hivi anayesoma decent ndi, ni gracious eh? huyo wa miaka kumi ndio anayesoma hiyo shule ya decent mdogo wake ana umri wa miaka sita Danieli alibahatika kupata watoto hao wawili tu wa kiume huyo gracious na mwingine anaitwa elibiliva sasa huyo mmoja ndiye anayesoma decent na huyo mwingine anasoma saa hizi duse kule ile shule ambayo ni shule ya chuo nafikiri kuna mwalimu wa duse hapa mwalimu wa walimu wa duse Aa, kwa hiyo huyu mtoto mmoja anasoma kule sasa hawa tul, kila mtu ukimuuliza alikuwa anasema hawa watoto siju itakuwaje hawa watoto siju itakuwaje na una, nafikiri itakuwa sio sio sijui kama ni, ku, ni matusi au ni nini lakini unajua familia zinatofautiana uwezo Eh? Kwenye familia ya kina Danieli unaweza kuona kama Danieli alikuwa nguso. Ndio alikuwa na nguvu. Kwa hivyo hata baba yake mzazi yuko hapa. Danieli alikuwa anamtunza baba yake mzazi. Sasa unaweza kuona kwamba kiukweli lazima liwafikirishe watu. Lakini Mungu anajua mambo. Kwa hivyo akawagusa hao watu wa decent. Sio jambo la kawaida. Wanasema huyu mtoto atasoma mpaka amalize pale. Kwa kweli hiyo shule ya decent mimi nataka kuwatabiria hiyo shule haita shuka bali itapanda sana kwa sababu atakaye mpa mmoja wa wadogo wao ngaa kikombe cha maji baridi sasa nyie mmetoa zaidi ya kikombe cha maji baridi decent itabarikiwa hamtakuwa mkia mtakuwa kichwa Mungu awabariki sana kwa, kwa kweli tumeguswa mimi shule ya namna hiyo mimi nawashauri hata na wengine kama mna watoto pelekee ni decent yani hiyo ni shule ya kupeleka mtoto kwa sababu unaona wana akili timamu na wana utu e. kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana kwa ajili ya kile ambacho decent wamefanya tunashukuru kwa ajili ya au indumanda lisakos E, kwa ajili ya hiyo waliotoa ni utaratibu wao ni utaratibu ulioko kwenye sheria kwamba mwanachama akilala wanafanya hivyo lakini decent yawange lazimika hawalazimiki kusema tutasomesha mtoto wanasema tu basi wazazi kama mtaweza endeleeni kama mwezi basi lakini wakaona hapana kwa hiyo decent wamefanya kitu cha kipekee kwa sababu hiyo kwa sababu hiyo na mimi natangaza kwamba yule mtoto mdogo mdogo yule ambaye anasoma duse yule naye tutahakikisha kanisa litamsomesha hata hata mpaka PhD kama ni lazima Mungu awabariki na zaidi ya hapo bado kanisa litakuwa karibu na hiyo familia kwa mambo mengine yote yatakayojitokeza ambayo yataonekana kama yangeyumbisha chochote kile kwa tayari mstari wa mbele kusaidia kila kinachohitajika kusaidia. Na kauli yangu hii inatiwa muhuri na mbingu. Mungu awabariki sana. Ya hayo ni mambo machache ambayo nilitamani kuyasema. Kwa hiyo swala la wasiwasi ya kwamba watoto watasomaje na nini hebu hilo sasa tuliondoe vichwani kwetu. Amen baada ya kuyasema hayo <coughs> sijui niseme nini tena ila tu niwashukuru wote mliokuja kutuunga mkono na ah okay kuna jambo jingine mwenyekiti wa shule ya Danieli DMM yani shule ile aliita kwa jina lake DMM Vision New Vision ni Daniel Meshaki Mgaya New Vision 
Lakini mwenyewe alipenda kuita, aliniambia hapana. Kuna jina langu hapo lakini kuna jina jingine la siri. Inaitwa Daima Mungu mbele. Ndiye okay. mwemu hiyo ni Daima Mungu mbele. <laughs> Kuna mambo machache siku ya zungumza kuhusu Danieli. Siku ya Jumapili tulikuwa na unajua Jumapili kwa mwaka mpya kwa hiyo tulifanya mkesha mpaka kwa mkia siku ya Jumatatu tarehe moja Is it? Eh. Hasa siku hiyo Danieli ndiye kanisani aliyeongoza nyimbo zote na akahubiri kwenye kwenye ibada ya ubatizo. Lakini jambo lisilo la kawaida Danieli amekuwa akifadhaika sana tangu mke wake ameondoka mara nyingine angeenda pale kaburini alie arudi afanye hivi kwa hiyo amekuwa na fadhaa kubwa alikuwa anampenda Danieli na mke wake ni mfano wa kuigwa wa ndoa walikuwa wanapendana sana mpaka alikuwa anasema sitani kama nitaoa tena wakati mwingine anawaza anawaza anasema kama nitakuja kulazimika kuo lazima mke nitakaye muone ni muambie kwamba alikuwa anampenda mke wangu sasa unaona hivyo vyote vilikuwa vinani kuvurugikiwa lakini siku ya Jumapili kitu kisicho cha kawaida siku ya Jumapili Danieli alichukua pete yake ya ndoa na ya mke wake akazivaa zote mbili ndio akaja kwenye ibada hiyo ambayo tulifanya ibada ya ya, 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 ya Jumapili tukaunganisha moja kwa moja mpaka na mkesha wa mwaka mpya na kushiriki meza ya Bwana Danieli alikuwa amevaa pete mbili ya kwake na ya mkewe na ilipofika tu tarehe moja akaniita akasema naomba tupige picha pamoja. Kulikuwa na mhubiri kutoka Zambia akatukusanya akasema tupige picha ya pamoja. Tukapiga picha. Sasa kwenye ile picha ndio nimekuja kuona Danieli alivaa pete yake na ya mkewe jambo ambalo sio la kawaida kimoja. Sasa sijui hilo nalo linamaanisha nini lakini Mungu ni mwema. Mungu awabariki sana. Basi <coughs> kwa hiyo basi kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kuzungumzia ile swala la shule. Ile shule ya DMM mwenyekiti hapa amesikitika. Lakini tayari tuliliangalia jambo hilo. Tusingependa ile ile shule ife. Kwa hivyo ile shule nayo sisi kama kanisa tuko tayari kuisupport ile shule ipate waalimu na ile shule iendelee kama kawaida bahati nzuri tulionayo tuna watu wawili waliobaki ambao wamefanya kazi pale kwenye ile shule mmoja wapo ni Alois kwa tutazungumza na Alois arudi pale kwa sababu wazazi wanamjua ni mwalimu wa ile shule lakini zaidi ya hapo tutapata walimu wengine bora kama Danieli mtatuambia nyinyi mtakaa nao kwa muda muone kama watoto wenu wanaharibika muwaondoe lakini kama mtaona hawa nao ni Danieli mwingine waacheni watoto wenu pale pale. Lakini tusingependa ile shule ife. Kwa hiyo msiondoe watoto shuleni. Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana. Kuna jambo ambalo labda sikulisema, rambi rambe tulizozipokea kutoka kwenye makanisa zimefika wastani wa shilingi kama milioni mbili hivi. Na sisi kama kwa sababu tumezikusanya kama kanisa kwa, ka, kwa makanisa tutahakikisha tuta hizo hela hizo tutahakikisha sisi matumizi yake yoyote yale tunayafuatilia few millimeters yani hakuna hakuna chochote kile ambacho kitapotea hivi hivi Mungu awabariki sana na tutaongeza na zingine lakini tutahakisha kwamba kama ni kusaidia shule kama ni nini chochote kile si tutafanya. Ile shule ya Danieli isife kwa sababu inabaki kama kumbukumbu. Wa Danieli alipopata ajali walimuibia kila kitu mkoba vitu vyake vyote ila wakamwachia Biblia yake. Walimwachia Biblia na Biblia ya Danieli imesomwa sana kwa sababu ina maandishi yake mengi zaidi kuliko ya Biblia yenyewe. Yaani yeye mwenyewe ameiandika kuliko yenyewe ilivyojiandikwa. Mungu awabariki. Hebu nisichukue mambo mengi sana lakini kwa sababu mnajua nina, nina uchungu kama mzazi wa Danieli. Danieli ameoa mikononi mwetu akiwa hana kitu. Kwanza ameku, tumekuwa naye akiwa kijana, tukawa naye tukampa mke miaka kumi na moja iliyopita kama si kumi lakini Danieli akaanza pole pole kuendelea akaanzisha shule akaendelea hivyo ameendelea hivyo mpaka alikofika tukiwa naye kanisani amekuwa mtu wa mkono wangu wa kuume amefanya mambo mengi makubwa 
Kwa hivyo nikiongea mengi sana kuhusu Danieli nitalia. Kwa hiyo naomba niishie hapo. Mungu awabariki sana. Karibuni nitakuwa kwa ajili ya kuaga kuitika bara gumu bara gumu yake Bwana wakati kipigwa asiku ya milele kapigwa hapo hapo hiyo chombole wa watakusanika nitakuwa koji na kuri matena bara gumu bara gumu yake Bwana wakati kipigwa Ibatena na majina, 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 
pale mwishoni kwa hiyo naomba tuwe na suti la kidogo familia ya ndugu yetu pamoja na wachungaji kuitaga pale mwishoni himba na majina na majina na majina na yaitwa na majina Ya <speaking in Spanish> Twende haraka kidogo Wachungaji watatangulia kabla ya wazazi Baada ya wanaume kumaliza kuaga Wachungaji tutafuata Kisha familia watakuwa wa mwisho Kwa jili ya kutuwa heshima zao za mwisho Kwa nungu yetu dani Nambaji Naomba wanaume tusiende mbali Tukishamaliza kuaga Tutaitaji kubeba mwili wa nugu yetu Kwa jile ya kuenda kuhifadhi Kwa hiyo wanaume tusiende mbali Tue karibu Tue karibu Himba na majina 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 ya itwa Majina Majina ya itwa Sazote na tumwa 
Kazi ya kangu Kangu asubui Hata jiori Mada wachungaji na omba Kwa karibisha ndugu Maisha yetu yako Mapo umu dunia Niwapo Mija kuwa po jina Kuitika Kwa majina Kwa majina Na ya ita Tupenda Tunane Ipeni moyo mku Bado mungu ni mwema Bado mungu na tupenda Tunane Tunane Milele Tunane Tunane Bandari ni kule Sasa Hata sasa Ufura ya Tamu ya ke Ipeni moyo mku ya Ipeni moyo familia Haya ni mapenzi ya mungu Hii ni kazi ya mungu Mungu fana makosa Mimba ata sasa Ata sasa Ufura Utamu ya Yake mapenzi ya le Je kwa ke Je kwa ke Tukifikilia Kutofara Kutofara Kana amire Himba tonane 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 Tunaomba na pasi yogo kwa jilia Tonane Tonane Bada ya hapo tusogegi makidogo Hatuwa chache katha nyuma Tonane Tonane Milele Tonane Utonane Tandari Nikule Tonane Utonane Tonane Milele Tonane Utonane Tandari Mr. Kasaja Dugu Kasaja Tafadhari Mahalo Lipo Dugu Kasaja Tafadhari Mahalo Lipo Nayangu tonane 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 Milele Tonane Tonane 
Andalini kule Tonane 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 Omilele Tonane Tonane Andalini kule Tugu Tonane Tonane Ataanza mchungaji na mke wake. Mchungaji na mke wake Shada. Mchungaji wetu Arnold na Naomba na maua ya pia yawe hapa karibu. Ya bebeni tu atachomoa wenyewe. Mchungaji na mke wake kama atakuwa yuko karibu. Naomba tu maua muyaweke tu hapa ya bebeni yote kama yalivyo. Msichomoe moja moja yawekeni watachomoa wenyewe. E, mke wa mchungaji popote alipo Na huyo ni mchungaji pamoja Alafu, na mke wake e, Sante Wachungaji wawili kwa niaba ya wachungaji wengine kutoka makanisa mengine e, Taomba mchungaji Oswadi Pamoja na pastor Remi labda mtasaidia kwenye zoezi hilo Hao ni wachungaji kwa niaba wachungaji wengine tunashukuru sana basi e, maua tasa yatatumika kwa sababu mashada ya maisha e, watoto tunaanza na watoto wa ndugu Danieli tafuata e, bibi yao pia vizuri babu Babu yao kina Gracious baba, baba mzazi wa ndugu Danieli kwa maana hiyo na mama mzazi pia basi changamke baba mzazi wa ndugu Danieli na mama mzazi hai E, kaka zake ndugu Danieli dada zake kaka zake ndugu Danieli na dada zake asante makaka e, pamoja makaka na dada pamoja na madada e, wajomba mashangazi mama wadogo mama wakubwa wote kwa pamoja Naomba tu wape njia tafadhali wapeni njia hao wanakuja kama shada ili kulaisisha zoezi kwa haraka kidogo mm -hmm. E, naomba wa, 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 wa wakilishi shuleni shule ya DMM kama wapo majirani zake wa, wa hapa hapa chanika na mwalimu Alois Sijajua kama mwenyekiti wa serikali ya mtaa Kariako bado yupo kama atakuwepo basi ata ataweka uwalake hapo Mwenyekiti karibu tafadhali tachukua kama walimu wa decent bado wapo wataweka maua yao Mwalimu mkuu au mwakilishi kama wapo e, mwakilishi wa sako ya Indumandari
eh ile mama daktari kwa niaba ya majirani wa kali yako kama atakuwa yupo bado yuko mbali amesema yupo mm. Naam huyo ni mwenyekiti mtaa wa kali yako okay. tunashukuru sana eh mtendaji na mwenyekiti yupo bali basi nafikiri kama umesahaulika tutasameana muda unaenda eh tunataka wale ndugu e, ndugu dada wapenzi kutoka makanisa mbalimbali eh daktari huyo hapo akaweke la kwake ndugu na dada wa thamani wataweka maua yao wainjilisti wote maana ndugu Daniel alikuwa mwinjilisti wote na wamishenari <laughs> ni vizuri mtumie hiyo fursa <laughs> sawa basi ndugu wote dada makanisa yote kutoka eh, maua yapo ya kutosha hata kama umetoka kanisa la banana ubungo kibaha maua yapo ya kutosha marafiki wote mnakaribishwa ya yeah. Mifanya hivi haraka haraka kwa sababu muda huko nje tuko nje ya muda kabisa giza inaanza kuingia e basi tujitahidi kuharakisha ya yeah. muziki kwa chini kama tatupigia kinanda naomba watu wote wenye maua tu karibuni tafadhali tuokoe muda kila mwenye huu atafadhali njo weke na mwenzako ambaye yuko karibu watu wote samu na karibishwa tuweke maua hapa mwenye gari namba 300